Well, hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for tuning in. And uh, It is Tuesday, April 21st, and today we're going to go over um, market reports, sending out automated email market reports to your clients. Um, it's very simple. It's very quick. It's very easy. And I'll go through kind of how you could go about setting them up, how you can edit them, how you can adjust them, and then what they look like in the uh, uh, once they're received in the inbox, um, in the inbox of your clients. So you're going to start in your smart CRM, and you're going to select the contact that you want to apply this market report to. And uh, you can see on the on the far left side here, you'll see that it's got spots for search alerts, campaigns, market reports, and then listing traffic reports. This will show where they are active, if they are active in any of these, um, if, if they are receiving any of these uh, touch points. And market reports, just one of those. So in order to set up a market report, you click on this section and it, it'll pull up this option to add a market report. And this is we're going to enter in your location. Let's say your client is interested in Hamburg. Now there's all these options, the general Hamburg area, the village area, um, you can do neighborhood, um, Hamburg village, neighborhood, city of Hamburg. Um, I'm going to go with the Hamburg area. And then down here where it says send report every, you would select how many days you, uh, how, you know, if you wanted them to send weekly or every other week or uh, every three weeks, every four weeks, and so on. Um, so I'm going to send this weekly. You click add and there it is. There is your, uh, there is your market report for Hamburg. Um, you also can send, you can do more than one too. So let's say they are thinking about moving to Hamburg, but they wanna sell their home in South Buffalo. Um, you can also do it by zip code. So the entire zip code here, and they want these weekly. I'm going to edit. And then additionally, you can say, let's say they say, okay, I, I'm i moving. Uh, and I also want to think about a uh, winter weekend home in Elkville. You can add this one as well. Did I spell Elkville wrong? Let's say Elkville area but they want these every four weeks. They're not as serious about that. They're just browsing. So you add it and here you are. Um, you'll be able to see that market reports are active based on this little green check mark. And you'll be able to see which ones. Um, additionally, they might say, okay, you know what? Alcaville was a nice dream, but we're not gonna really think about doing that right now. Can you please remove us from that report? Um, what you would just do is you click on it here. You can edit it or you can just completely remove it as, a, as um, all at once. And then these two are, of course, are still active. Um, I'm gonna real quick refresh my page here. And as you can see here, um, all everything you just did will show up in the leads activity feed. And what you can also do is you can view the report. So we subscribe to that market report for Hamburg. Let's just see what this report looks like. So there's a, in the last three days, there was 149 homes for sale. So that means we're gonna we're good with this report. This was uh, we got a lot of results here. 19 homes are new to the market. You can see it's down from where it normally is by almost by, by almost 61 percent. Um, the average price, you can see the price per square foot that the area is, is getting. And you can also see all of the homes for sale here. So they can, they can view homes here. So they get the market report and then they can see, um, exactly all, you know, the most popular listings, some recent listings. Um, and that's it. So, uh, so very simple, very easy. Um, and it's uh, you know very useful. So um, and, and again, I showed you how to turn them off, turn them on. Uh, they look very sharp once you receive them, and uh, you know they're very easy to maneuver. So um, thank you all for tuning in, and have a great rest of the day.